Good evening, good evening, good evening. I am Sentient Dessert. Welcome to my channel. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm a little bit later than normal. Apologies. Um, I think tonight I'm just going to be going in and doing a wonderful little puzzle for everyone's delight and my own and maybe just chatting a little bit. So without any further ado, let's see. I need something colorful today, I think. Yeah. It's been a... I don't want to say harrowing, but it's just been a difficult few weeks. I mean... When you get sick and you're freaking out that, um... You might have caught the uh, the plague that's going around. Kind of, uh, yeah. You, you, it adds additional stress to everything, and I really don't enjoy stresses. I mean, I do, but I don't. Hard to explain, I think. So for the next little bit, I'm probably going to be doing some puzzles. I hope that you do enjoy. Normally I'd go for the side pieces, but why not change things up a little bit? I do think that I might have uh, acquired something that would help me to do like, physical jigsaw puzzles. I'll have to see if it's large enough. I got a drawing pad or a drawing tablet um, about 30 inches by maybe 25. So it might do well for some puzzles, but not for others. I shall find out when I remember where I put the puzzles that I bought over Christmas. I acquired a set of puzzles that are basically just um, like pictures of marble. And all that you have to go on is the lines in the stone. So that might be a fun project if they're small enough. Ew, you go at the bottom because there are people standing there. Indubitably. Okay. Seeing a lot of different, a lot, a lot of different, 
Um, there we go. A lot of different spires and whatnot. Is that a balloon or is that a spire? I think that's a balloon. I'm also going to avoid opening up the sample image for this run through. Wonderful. Get that one locked into place. Ooh. Can we do anything with you? We can. Wonderful. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back into doing the uh, the all-day runs for a bit. I'm not sure I have the stamina for that yet. Whatever I caught was not fun. I guess you're going to be about right here. Or a little bit higher. You are going to be there. Now this one's going to be over here based upon the shape. So yes, the, uh, the long streams are probably not going to be as um, high on my priorities right now, but I'm going to try to resume my daily schedule at 6 p.m. my time. which is uh, 1 a.m. Greenwich Mean. Feels like there's so many of these conical fires. I really want to get back into, uh, oh golly, what's it called again? Bioshock Infinite. Kept wanting to say Biohazard, but that's, that's a completely different game franchise entirely. For those of you not aware, that's the original name of the Resident Evil games. And I really wish they had kept that title because it, it just sounds a little bit better and a lot more on point for the, the stories and the games themselves. But I think that there was a problem with the naming rights. I think there was another game that had come out over here that was memorable, memorable enough to not be known used biohazard as the name so we got stuck with resident evil
Okay, I know there's going to be a spot that I can put this. Yep, there we go. But getting back into the uh, bio jock game should not be too difficult. Just have to remember buttons. It's different from the other ones where right clicking uses the ability and left clicking is the power. And middle mouse is zoom. Which is just so counterintuitive and backwards, at least for me. Yes. Yes, we got that. Wonderful. Even better. Let's find, ooh, a dome piece. Gotta love the dome pieces. Got to, got to, got to love them. You're not gonna connect there. Why do you have to love them? Because they they just go together and make the, the puzzle easy to complete. Like you should be like that. Mm. Gotta go like that. Like it could go there, which it does. This is going to be the piece between them. There we go. Righty. A wonderful little puzzle. You'll kind of like Bob Ross just talking randomly in a very soothing tone of voice or attempting a soothing tone of voice. Many years ago, I wrote a wonderful little poem about Bob Ross, and uh, I went searching through all of my old accounts and whatnot to see if I'd posted it somewhere. If I did, it no longer exists. Which, kind of a shame, but... They love you. Have to move on. Hmm. 
and you can't find the things of your past, you can either go nuts trying to dig them up again, or you can continue moving forward and make new things. I am lately of the opinion of making new things. There we go. There we go. Oh, you look like you might... There. We found stuff. Got all that in place. I mean, this one's probably gonna be like right here. You can find some more of those small windows. There's one. Different shade, so that's not going to be... Yes, you will... You will do wonderfully there. Gonna do it. Okay. Right, let's find some more pieces that might be useful. Like that one. That's a useful piece. You look like you might that somewhere. It, we have connection. Connections are good. Are you? So random little tidbit. Um, if you've ever seen the show Steven Universe. Sorry, had to my throat. You don't want to hear that. So if you've ever seen the show Steven Universe, um, Greg, Steven's father, is voiced by an actor whose name eludes me right now. But um, it, was, uh, it was eating at me a little bit um, that I did recognize his voice from somewhere. So I went on a little merry search. And, uh, yeah, I had heard his voice before in an episode of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. He plays a character named Willie Nelson. It's first three seasons, I think. The episode is called The Shaving.
and he is a monster that lives in the attic. It's a great episode. Most things that are Halloween related are pretty good. Most. Well, we got most of the balloon. Okay, trees connected. That one fits. Wonderful. I should have spent time the past few weeks looking for music, but I was, I still am a little bit knackered from it. I mean, I've been feeling better the past few days. I've been going out and attending physical therapy and taking trash out and doing all the things that should be done when you're recovering from various things. But... It's so exhausted, you know? And exhaustion doesn't go away easily. Usually. So you are close to the bottom. We're on the bottom. Oh, wonderful. You connect, you connect. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, we've got a nice large piece here. Might connect to one of these other ones. Not yet. You, however, 
not going to fit there. Figuring out, without looking at the thing, where the different things go. E. A. Well, not what I was going for, but I'm t I'll take it. I can't tell if these are supposed to go that way or the other way. I think they go this way because I'm seeing the tops of... Um, Rain catchers. Can't think of a appropriate word. Oh, even better. This like it goes here. And it does. Wunderbar. No, did not click on you to turn you. I trees, more trees, pink trees. inadvertently attaching things that I don't mean to. Oh, wonderful. We now have got that set. Move everything on top of it so that we can access it better. Over here somewhere. Or not. Finding that was good. Gotta go like that because guy background. However, don't know where you sit. Seeking windows. Found some. There we go. You gonna fit there? Or? No, you'll fit there. Good, good.
This guy probably sits about right here. Who? That's you right where? Yes, it goes right. Nope, it doesn't go right there. Right then. What I get for thinking? Vibrant, you will go right here. That is where it shall sit well. We just find one that's got the extension of this green piece right there. All right, we've almost got the lower right half completed. Mornings. Very good. Very, very good. Another lower section piece. Wonderful. Right there, okay. We've got that taken care of. A few more lower edge pieces when they come up. You will go right there. That's the extension of the green piece right there. You are still floating out here, aren't you? Oh, we got it. Connected. And move everything else off of it so that we know what's what. There. You can go there. Coming along rather nicely, I'd say. Could have worked there. Work there. Okay, we have completed the balloon. The balloon is done. And enter balloon number two. And balloon number Hmm. 
And what have we here? Oh, are you going to fit? You're going to fit right there. Good. Good, good, good. You're not going to fit there. You are going to fit there. I'm going to guess you are going to fit. No? Not anywhere there. The Bulbous Buffont. Don't know what that is. Go check it out. A wonderful little song by the Vestibules. Canadian group. They do comedy type stuff. Oh, what have we here? More idea. Bottom complete. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm also taking the habit of that the uh, um completion tactic of once I bring a piece onto the mat, I'm not moving it off. Trying to keep all the pieces together. Give myself a little bit more difficulty. And fun. We're going to have something next to you. Okay. The only problem with that strategy is that um, it gets full up rather quickly. We are. there. Got the top of something there. Yep. Well, that makes that easy. It probably goes there.
Where do you go? You go there. Like it wants to go. Please. I think I'm making decent time on this one. And again, it can be a little easier. Puzzles on here, then in flesh. Okay, where are we at now? Wonderful. That is good. And that probably goes there, which it does. That'll go there. Side. There. That should go there. That looks like it should go there, but it's not clicking in, so it doesn't go there. That's a bit off-putting. But then again, if you're watching me, you are not off-putting. are going to go here. Yes. Yes, yes. More balloon. More balloon. There's a lot of balloons in this one. There was this wonderful 300 piece puzzle. A building, I don't know what it was, but um, there was one piece that was missing and it was right at the top and it was um, the piece that I always looked for when I was trying to put it together. It had a little tiny, it was like a C. It would, it, it was a female part that looked like a C that was actually a big medallion that um, that fit into the basically said where the center of the puzzle was. I must have put that puzzle together easily a couple hundred times. Favorite puzzle. 
but pieces would get lost over the ages. Now that would be something, have an option for a puzzle like this to have missing pieces. That actually would be kind of cool. Infuriating at times. I think it would be kind of cool. said it before and I'll say it again, the trick to many puzzles is looking for the shades that match. If you can match the shades, you can usually find where things go. Not sure how well that would work if you are partially or completely colorblind. Suppose it depends on what that does to the vision. A stage manager that was colorblind and he knew like nine times out of ten, what color was actually being used just because it was a different shade of whatever he saw. And he could discern the difference between certain colors better than most people. Just because it didn't look the same. We're going to go right there. So what may seem like a hindrance could actually be very beneficial. I will say that it did screw up a couple of people because they had to re-render all of their stuff because of the, uh, the palette they chose. The stage manager can't see it, that's going to be very difficult to um, have understood. Yeah, the theater industry kind of sucks right now. It is very much a intimate form of entertainment and it'd be nice to get back into a theater sooner than later. As it sits, probably won't be until next year at the earliest. So I'm going to make the best of my time, hopefully. Trying hard. But it could be worse, I could have actually caught Corona. And that would not have been, that would not have been fun. That would have been 
relatively nightmarish right now. There's the other part of that balloon. Now maybe we can figure out where it goes. It goes over here. No wonder I couldn't find it over there. It was a fake out. Yeah, this, this came together a lot faster than I expected it to. And we are almost done, so. I hope you have enjoyed this video. A wonderful little image. Kind of curious if there's a place that, like this, doubtful. Just because the colors would fade after a while. But, um, I have been Sentient Dessert. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. If not, I'm not going to hold it against you. Be kind out there. Have a good solar cycle. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Love you. I love you all. Please be safe. Please. I will see you tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Have a good night.